Good afternoon to you all. Many apologies for not being able to attend this interesting event this afternoon. My political group will be holding discussions on the future of the European Union in the next coming days, and some practical constraints prevent me from participating in the event this afternoon. I offer my apologies for this. Nevertheless, I'm very glad also that the initiative is taking place again and that we can continue the, ge the intergenerational dialogue which we have embarked upon a few months ago. I would like to commend the work of International ID in this regard for taking the initiative to organize again a debate and I hope International ID will keep up with these uh, initiatives in the future. As I said, I will be discussing the future of the European Union in the next few days. I think we all very well know what the challenges are that we are facing in the future decades to come. Life expectancy is to raise by two years every decade and the overall and there will be an overall decline in fertility as well. We will face massive demographic challenges. By means of an example, Sweden took about 114 years to double the percentage of people over the age of 60 from 7 to 14 percent. China, in contrast, will need just 25 years to do that in the next few years to come. There will be a fall in productivity and the social welfare systems as we know them today in Europe will face great challenges. So it's definitely time for us to provide answers to this. If we're not able to provide answers, we might see that this crisis, this situation of challenges will provide very fertile ground for losing social cohesion overall. And it's precisely this risk of losing social cohesion that we need to fight. We need to fight it by initiatives as the one we're taking this afternoon, but we also need to fight it with concrete actions on the field. One general remark I would like to make is the following. I think we shouldn't underestimate the strength of intergenerational dialogue, intergenerational solidarity. I think we all very well know that there, every generation in itself is a bit selfish. However, in fact, there is great ground as well for intergenerational solidarity. Look at grandparents who are very concerned about the future of their children or their grandchildren. But look also at children of whom the parents now are going to elderly homes and who need to be taken care of. There is genuine concern and I think it is this concern that we need to use at our best potential. And that is why I think we need to do everything we can to enhance so social cohesion fur further by initiatives as the one today, but also by taking legislative proposals. Proposals as the ones made in the study by Professor Dejelang, which we will be hearing speaking in a few minutes' time. The proposals are actually very interesting and rich, and I would very strongly encourage you to listen very carefully to them. I picked up on three of them. First of all, why couldn't we have an intergenerational impact assessment mechanism for policy making? to just make an intergenerational solidarity test to see if it stands the test. Secondly, for example, why couldn't we have obligatory representation of different generations in social representation in company boards to make sure every generation is represented, to make sure that every voice is heard? Is heard. We shouldn't perhaps longer think in, in the respect of uh, employers and employees. We should perhaps also consider to think in respect of generations. And last but not least, this very interesting example. Why couldn't we have a Minister of Intergenerational Solidarity? I know, some people might consider it a crazy idea, but I consider it to be a very ambitious idea. I think it would put on the agenda the intergenerational dialogue, and I think this is what we all stand behind. I think this is what should be the subject of our future work to come as well. I wish you very fruitful discussions this afternoon, and once more I apologize for not being able to attend, but I hope I will be there next time again. Thank you and goodbye.